it's late June, approximately a million degrees upstairs where my regular piano is. And I was like, I haven't played any covers for like two months. How do I ease myself back into the whole business? And I was like, hmm, I don't think I've actually ever shown you the process of me learning a new cover. I've talked about it on the how to do covers video, but um, yeah, I think I should actually show you how I go on with these things. So the song in question today is Time Travelers by Riverside. It's fairly slow, fairly melancholic and nostalgic and even a little hopeful. But yeah, I've got some chords looked up and now that I've listened to the song like for an hour or so, I think I will start working on the actual cover. So let me just put you that way and you can look at me <laughs> scrambling through my way of this song.
see I can pretty much hear from the chords. Um, the main thing I right now have to do is figure out how do I keep this going on during the uh, verse parts, but um, the choruses, I think I have a very good idea on how I will work on these parts and yeah, it's just the whole thing of like finding the right chords for the song because there were a lot of chords that began with like um, A minor no, this one's E minor so yeah, um, this seems fairly simple um, yeah, and I really like how this has been written out and now I just need to practice it quite a bit more We have a drink first. Oh, and by the way, if you think I don't have anything on my bottom, I have shorts. Short shorts. It is fucking hot upstairs. Like it's like 22 degrees down here, which is already pretty hot for Finland. But upstairs it's like nearer to 40. So yeah.
actually need to listen to how this ends. Okay, so it ends like that, but I think I would like to have the beginning riff that whole. see why they have ended it like that as well so that is something I think I will need to think about for a little while so um, I took quite a few lessons through the song and the things I noticed now that I've been playing is and you know I was already thinking about how do I want to end this but now I'm thinking about like how do I keep this like uh, sounding light and clear enough because you know this can get muddled up very quickly and if I you know keep it sustained too long it will get muddled up if I don't use enough sustain it will just like That's going to be a big problem. Another thing is that there aren't really high and low parts, but it's all very much on the same register, so I will have to be very careful about how I make the melody sound, because it may disappear in the midst of all these big chords, and I was already wondering about how do I keep the riff going on through the verse parts, but now I'm thinking about perhaps it will be better if I don't actually keep the riff going on all the time because then it will be easier to pick up the melody and what the meaning of the song it perhaps is. So yeah, mm. and again, I'm thinking about those instrumental parts as well, like how do I want to do them? Do I want to keep the guitar solo in? Usually I just like skip guitar solos because they usually don't sound that good on piano, but this one has a very, very good guitar solo, especially like Riverside guitar solos, like Chef Kiss Perfection. Yeah, I need to think about that as well, and yeah. So there's still quite a few things I will need to, you know, ponder upon. But right now, I'm pretty happy with how this first practice session has gone. I don't think there is any sense in practicing more while I'm still, you know, figuring out what my big blocks are. Like, I have the whole main theme, and I have the verses, and I have the choruses, and I have the middle parts. Now I just need to fine-tune my idea of the song before I actually film the cover. So, yeah, this has been the practice session. I hope this illustrates to you how I approached songs, how I actually, you know, go on about learning them. As you can see, I have fairly good idea of how I should start. I usually just like, okay, where does the melody start? Okay, D, um, what chords use D? doesn't sound like a G major, might start with E minor 7th. Okay, fit the right one. Let's look at the chords and lines scene, who has E minor 7th, and figure out the song based on that. I don't usually, you know, get through these things as quickly as I have today, but usually I don't, you know, listen to the song on repeat for three months. I've spent a whole morning listening to it and um, thinking about it and looking up chords online beforehand. This was kind of a special case for me because I was filming the process. Might actually do this another time as well because it's been quite a lot quicker than usually. So yeah, I will probably upload the final cover in a week or two. So yeah.
I'll see you next time and bye.